because of the dire need that was presented and, and because of the the uh, the fact that there were you know 13 innocents you know there was one coach and there was 12 children who were who were stuck who were just victims of an early monsoon season and um, and it was all playing out in real time and they were they were still presumed alive certainly the early early part of the coverage they were presumed alive and there was a particular point where they thought there's a good chance they're not with us anymore but we as a people as a species watch this unfold in real time and it was terrifying to think that they may be alive now but they may not be any second now um, so yeah it, it, it presents an opportunity for the world to really and for thousands of people actually in many different nations to come together and put their minds together and put their divisions aside and their egos aside I'm not saying there wasn't arguments and miscommunications during the mission of course there was but essentially everyone just said okay what needs to happen here how do we get them out how do we get them out safe and it was an incredibly dramatic and incredibly terrifying and bold thing that they did but luckily enough the whole team got out alive anyway you know what do you think Ron and Brian do differently than any other tandem in Hollywood I'd, to make these kind of films they're all home runs do you know what Ron, Ron just like just speak to her about Ron. Ron's just a really good, strong, decent, thoughtful, compassionate human being. He really is. Like any time he talks about, and he, he wouldn't be waxing lyrical about the, the virtues I've just said he holds, but any time he, it's not subterfuge. If Ron is expressing care about something, it's very, very sincere. It's very considered. And I think he, you know, from, um, was it Rebuilding Paradise, the documentary that he made? What's the name of the documentary Ron made? Was it Rebuilding Paradise or just Paradise? Anyway, it was, it was, about, it was Paradise, the town that was destroyed in, in one of the fires um, a while back. And because he just, he, he's just, he's a human being. He knows how lucky he is. He knows how fortunate blessed his life has been. And he knows it's not the same for other people. And he's just interested in human beings and what makes us tick and why we come together and how we can come together and how we can be the best version of ourselves that we can be. And it is always when we're considering what the best thing is for the person on the left of us and the person on the right of us is instead of just what suits me, what's good for me, what's good for me. Thank you for having me. Thanks, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Bye.